Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you the Windsor & Newton watercolour set that I got off Amazon. I am making a whole video where I'm going to show you this palette and a lot of other things, so stay tuned for that. So right now I am preparing a chart so I can do, so I can swatch the colours and uh, all I do is uh, measure the size of the watercolor palette itself and then try to kind of like um, measure the same size in my sketchbook and then just draw uh, rectangles where I can swatch the color and within the same rectangle I can also do a bit of watercoloring so I can see the tone when water is added so the link to this watercolor set will be in the description box below and it is probably going to be an affiliated link because I bought it off Amazon so if you do use the link what that means is simply I will get a small um, commission over it very very minimal uh, unless lots and lots of people buy it and uh, that will actually allow me to buy more products and to show and review and that sort of things so if you do not want to use the affiliated link of course feel free to go and find your own uh, link or watercolor palette but anyway thank you so much if you are supporting me okay on to the video now all right so i'm gonna go ahead now and open these up i have decided to put them in the order i like my palette to be like similar colors um, and hues together so i'm just opening them them up and i'm putting these wrappers right in front of me in order and I already have this table where I'm going to do the swatches of colors and I'm so because because the wrappers are already in order in front of me it's gonna help me to then uh, write the numbers or the colors whichever way I'm gonna decide to do that later on I'm going to go ahead, do that, and uh, then I'll come back later. It's going to take me a while to do that. So, I'll see you later. So as you can see, I'm using water to um, get a different tone of the same color because then that will be a great indication of uh, the dark tone and light tone I can get with that color, you know, when I'm planning out my painting.
and here I did a mistake so I decided to just cut a piece of paper and then stick it on top and then write the correct um, colors in the correct order um, when that happened I actually freaked out a little bit thinking I do not want to restart again so sometimes when you are painting and you know you do a mistake take a moment to think how you can fix it obviously this is for my personal use so I didn't mind just to get another piece of paper to stick on top of it um, yeah I thought that was much better than restarting again so anyway these colors <clears throat> excuse me these colors are fantastic I cannot wait to do a tutorial where um, I'm gonna be using all these wonderful colors thank you so much for watching if you did like this video give it a big thumbs up subscribe if you haven't and I will speak to you very soon bye